if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 51 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. After a half century special last time out with three games in which we got some decent results. If you missed it, definitely check it out to make sure you are up to speed. I won't spoil any of the results for you, but we start the Barclays Premier League today with a game away from home against Swansea. And then the second game will be at home at Goodison Park on the Sunday for Super Sunday against Watford. So we're hoping, obviously, for a perfect start to the season, if we can possibly get it. Six points is the aim, and uh, we'll see if we can do so. But uh, obviously, if you enjoy today's episode, then make sure you drop the video a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We should be all right to play in the home kit there, shouldn't we? Uh, even though their kit is majorly in white as well. We're currently 84 rated. Uh, regardless of what happens this season, this will be our final year at Everton. We will definitely be moving on in the summer transfer window next season. Uh, we would like to uh, hopefully go as far as possible in the Champions League with Everton this year after pretty much single-handedly driving them to a second-place finish in the league in uh, season number two, or season number two of our career, season one at Everton, so to speak. But uh, yes, we will try and continue the good run of form that we carried from last season into pre-season into this year's competitive fixes as well. So, like I say, if you enjoy it, drop the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will hope to uh, get yourself get ourselves either an assist, a goal, but majorly the, the team result is the most important. So a win is a win. Nice tackle by Baines. Stolen it immediately away from the defender. Here's Romelu Lukaku. I'm not really in a position where he can find me just yet, but we'll get ourselves in the box. There's the cross. We'll arrive. Oh, perfect start to the season for us. Romelu Lukaku. I'm going to go to the camera. No, I've already decided that he's going to go to the... He's already decided he wants to sprint at the... Uh, corner flag. Lovely ball in by Lukaku. Just floated because I wasn't necessarily in the right position. So he just left it hanging in the air for me to race on to the end. We beat Ashley Williams to it. Just so good strength. Beat Fabianski at the near post. Wonderful start to the league season. Everton won Swansea nil after just 14 minutes. Brilliant stuff and a couple of accomplishments as well for our fifth headed goal of our career. Bafatimbi Gomis. Molos on the overlap. They space there, through for Jefferson Montero, it's 1-1, immediately Swansea hit back and respond. Six minutes or seven minutes or so after we went 1-0 up, Swansea are back on level terms, really nicely worked move, Bafatimbi Gomez, good tackle there, Gomez picks it up, squares it across to the man next to him, lovely ball through by Marlis to Jefferson Montero, keeper perhaps should have done slightly better at his near post. Yeah, should have, although to be fair, he lets it slide off his uh, slide off his foot there, Montero. It's a very good finish. Take nothing away from that, but you'd like Tim Howard to do better at his near post. But I suppose they'd have liked Fabianski to do better at his near post at the other end. Never mind. We're back at even. Stevens is one-one. Lucas, nice ball up towards Marlos. Could be an opportunity here for Swansea to get a second. Here's Dyer in the box to Gomez. Gomez with a shot. It goes just wide. Swansea's first chance since they scored and uh, it's not that far away it was worth a, a shot from uh, Baffy Gomez but couldn't quite get the uh, the ball to cut back enough to get it on target worth uh, worth a crack though and Swansea clearly proving that uh, they're going to go all out for the win here on the Barclays Premier League opening day will hopefully be able to repel any further attacks for well not only for the rest of this half as we're in stoppage time but for the rest of the game as well and it might be nice to get a win on the opening day, that was the plan at the beginning of the episode, that continues to be the plan now, we just know that Swansea can damage us at the other end, so we'll go into the second half knowing we can score, but also having to be wary at the back, knowing that they can score as well, 1-1. One, one. Morales, shrugs off the challenge, we did get an uh, advantage there, but I'll call for this from Gibson, I'm in space, that's a terrible pass, what are you doing Darren Gibson? That's why sometimes I purposefully don't call for the ball in certain situations because sometimes, even though you're in a great position, the, oh, what a ball! Get there, Aiden! Oh, sometimes when you're in a, a good position, you call for the pass. The CPU just aren't ready to pass it to you and they play a woeful ball, which is exactly what happened there. We played a nice ball to McGeady. We'll try, try him again through that gap. Is he going to get there this time? No, Tabernu holds him off. Come on, Aiden. We want, I was hoping you were going to be better than Delefeu was in this game, but so far, he's been just as bad. 
Funes Marie. Oh, it's a nice ball into me. Lukaku's making the run. We'll play him in down the channel. Is he going to go all the way for a shot here, Romelu Lukaku? No, he's forced himself wide. That wasn't the best of things to do. But here's Morales. I was going to call for the ball there. Oh, Baines will dink it in. We brought it down well. We'll find Aidan McGeady. Lays it back to me. We'll find McGeady again. McGeady will shoot. McGeady will score. We have an assist as well as a goal in this game. Can we celebrate with him? No, I'm just running around in the background. There we go. Nice little dink ball in. Brought it down well on the chest. 1-2 with McGeady. Then the 1-2-3. And a tidy finish. All at the goal have come at the near post in today's video so far. 2-1 to Everton. McGeady does make the difference. We mentioned Delefeu hadn't had the best of games. McGeady in the previous highlight was terrible as well. But now he's made the difference. We're 2-1 up and on course for three points for the first game of the Barclays Premier League season. Tackled by Gibson on Cork. There's space here. He's going to play me in. We'll give it back to him. And then there's even more space for McGeady on the right-hand side. Aiden, that was a bit extravagant. Go on, Romelu. Can we get another assist? Lukaku! We can! Two assists in one game and a goal for ourselves. Three goals for the team. Everton, three. Swansea, one. We immediately score a third after going 2-1 in front. Showing our dominance here. This is why we finished second in the league last year. A little bit too much for McGeady there, but never mind. He's showing off now. Clearly high on confidence after his goal. Brilliant finish from Lukaku as well. First time drilling it low and hard into that bottom right-hand corner. Fabianski, no chance. Everton 3, Swansea 1. We're definitely getting three points from this one. Perfect second-half performance. Final whistle's gone. It's Everton 3, Swansea 1. A convincing second-half performance was enough to see us get three points here. Swansea were very good in that first half and value for that one-all scoreline. But in the second half, we were just a little bit too good. And that's our 10th Man of the Match award of our career as well. One goal, two assists. For some reason, a 7.7 .7 rating, despite being Man of the Match and getting the goal and two assists. Not that many chances in the game as a whole, as you can see. We had three shots. We scored all of them. Everton 3, Swansea 1, and Watford are playing Liverpool on the opening day. Not the easiest way to start the season. And then they've got to come away from home to the other side from Merseyside. Us at Goodison Park for the second game of the episode. Besic on a nice run. On a really nice run to Gibson, to me. We'll help it on his way out wide to Lukaku. He is on his left-hand side and in the first shot of the game, flashes just past the post. Was forced a little bit too far wide there by my pass. I have to apologise, Romelu, but still a decent effort because he was headed on target initially, but it soon uh, spun wide of the post thanks to the way he cut across the ball. Never mind, first chance has come our way and gone, but at least we're uh, being positive again and on the front foot. Clearly still in the right frame of mind from that victory against Swansea. Finis Marie gives that straight to Abdi. Here's Vidra. Space on the right-hand side for Wanfran pushing forward from right back. It's not the Wanfran from Atleti. It's a different Wanfran. Oh, and Abdi comes close to giving Watford the lead after eight minutes. A chance at both ends of the pitch within the first ten minutes of the game and either could have ended up in the back of the net. Still nil-nil, but this promises to be just as entertaining a game as the Swansea one. Besic, Gibson, Besic. Stones pushing forward. Nice quick ball out wide to Delefeu, trying to force the issue. Gibson's first touch was terrible, but it has led to him having a shot on target. Off target, sorry. Shot on goal that was off target. It almost was a perfect first touch, despite it being horrendously heavy. Oh, shit. Tony Cruz gone to Juventus. 51 and a half million pounds. I just had to pause what I was saying there just to hear where he'd actually gone. 51 and a half million pounds. Tony Kroos has gone from Real Madrid to Juventus. That's a big move. So he'll join fellow German uh, Sami Khedira at Juventus. That's a big move. That's the sort of move that may free up an opportunity for us to move to Real Madrid in the summer. Next summer, that is. Who knows? Oh, he's giving it straight to me there. We'll give it to Besic quickly. He'll probably help it on its way towards Lukaku, maybe. Lukaku's waiting for a run. Besic is still going out wide to Seamus Coleman. We may have another chance here. It's been an elongated highlight, but Lukaku might be able to get it in. I'll call for it from Coleman. It's not going to come from him. Get it from Gibson. No, there's the turn. There's the shot. It's on target, but it's straight at Kune, the goalkeeper, unfortunately. 18 minutes played, and uh, we stay at 0-0 for now. But there's maybe even another opportunity for a chance. This is... This episode has just been end-to-end -end action in both games. Can we get the turn on the defender? We can. Do we try and Ronaldo chop inside? That was supposed to be Ronaldo chop. And for some reason, my guy didn't, uh, or it didn't register the second button press, and it's just passed it inside. Never mind. 20 minutes played now, and we stay at 0-0. Coleman. Nice ball into Morales. Quickly to Lukaku. Oh, nice turn from Romelu as well. Could be in. Romelu Lukaku. Ref. Ref! He's just thrown him to the ground. That's surely a penalty. 
There's no attempt to b challenge the, for the ball there whatsoever. He's just barged Romelu Lukaku over. I would have expected Lukaku to be stronger in that situation, but still, I think that has to be a spot kick. Tell me in the comment section if I'm being a little bit biased there with uh, it being in our favour. Like, if it had been at the other end, I probably would have said, oh, get up, mate, you've got to be stronger, get on the weights. But still, I think that was a pen. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. See, he gives a free kick for that, but he won't give us a penalty for a similar foul at the other end. Twat referee. Besic. There's space for Delefeu on the right-hand side, and he has found him. Lukaku. First touch is taken away from the defender, but also away from the box, unfortunately. Here's Seamus Coleman. I've called for the cross. It's not going to come from him. It is going to come from Lukaku, and Angela is going to get it out for a corner to Everton. Ten minutes before half-time. Delefeu to take the corner. Can we get ourselves a goal to go in front? We were drawing at half-time. Oh! Oh, my days. Romelu Lukaku. What a diving header. Oh, it's another corner. How has that not gone in? That would have been a brilliant goal. You can see him just lying flat on the floor there. Uh, it's a bit late for the goal line decision system there, pal. The closest he got was hitting the post. What a diving header from Lukaku. I can believe he did that. Go on. We still might. No, is that another corner? It is. We keep trying to play them to the near post, which isn't really working that well. Lukaku was lucky to get on the end of his, despite it being a very good header. We might get a chance here. No, it's missed everybody. Well, if Romelu can get there, I'm going to offer my support here on the edge. Now, where do we go? I see Morales. I see John Stones. I see Darren Gibson. Let's actually just drill it out wide to Delefeu and see what he can do. Darren Gibson's in that hole there. If you want to play it to one of us, play it to one of us. Thank you. We'll give it to Darren Gibson. No, we won't. We'll give it to Etienne Capu. Try and steal it back from Etienne Capu, which we have done nicely. It's our 45th stand tackle of our career. Gerard Delefeu down the outside. Cross coming. Cross coming. Oh, I, try, I should have tried a diving header on my own, but I don't think we've got the diving header trait on. Otherwise, we maybe would have done exactly the same as Lukaku. Nice little knockdown by Vidra to Abdi there. This is such an end-to-end -end game. Such an end-to-end -end game. How there hasn't been a goal so far, I've absolutely no idea. We might be able to create another opportunity here as well. Lukaku's first touch was pretty heavy, but he gets it to Morales, who's still on his way through here. Kevin Morales could go back to Romelu. Gives it to Besic. Besic to Lukaku. Oh, or drop off then. I thought it was going to come to me for a moment. Gibson, oh, he tried to give it to me, but Barami gets a foot in. Delefeu to Coleman. Go on, give it to me in the middle. I see Bessic there waiting for the pass. And then Morales has made the run off him if he can find him. He's gone out wide to Baines. Baines, cross, maybe? No. Morales, Bessic is waiting. That was a little bit similar to uh, McGeady's pass that led to a goal in the Swansea game. Here's Gibson to me. Lukaku's onside here. Give it back to him. Can he get the ball back into the box? I'll call for the cross. It's come! Shoot, says! Oh, my days! Oh, my days. I was hammering the B button and he just took control with a, an open net in front of me. A glorious opportunity. We won't get an easier chance to score in our entire career and I've fluffed it up. Nil-nil at half-time, but it could quite possibly be 4-3 or something stupid like that. Maybe the second half will be just as entertaining as the one against Swansea and we will have some goals. Big ping by Seamus Coleman to Romelu Lukaku, who's brought it down under control. Support coming from Delefeu. There's the cross, looking for Morales at the back post. Lukaku's going to get on the end of it. Oh, Romelu Lukaku, what a peach of a finish from the Belgian. Oh, my days. Wonderful strike. Was that first time? Decent cross, it's just popped up in the air. That was first time, wasn't it? He's just run onto it and lashed it. Absolutely destroyed that football. Smashed right into the roof of the net first time. An absolute cracker. Oh, wow. Romelu Lukaku is in form right now. Brilliant goal. Everton won, Watford nil. We needed a stroke of quality to get the breakthrough. And, well, that was one hell of a finish. Cleverly. Oh, nicely squeezed through to Romelu Lukaku. I'm in the box. He's crossed it. Can we get there? Oh, what a save. What a save. Kune, how has he kept that out? We've rose. We've rose. We've risen brilliantly there. That's Oh, we got a penalty starter trait as well. We've got 100 shots on target, I think. The long shots went up one. What a header. What a save. How is it not 2-0? How is it not 5-2 or something? The amount of chances there have been in this game so far. Up goes John Stones. That's gone well over the top of the bar. Murray's come on for Abdi. Watford somehow still only 1-0 down here with 25 minutes left to play. Coleman to Besic. Delefeu. I'll call for it here. And then we'll lay it in front of Tom Cleverley. He could go for a first-time shot. He could go for a shot still. Oh, there's another assist for us. 2-0. 
just as what happened in the Swansea game, as soon as we scored to go in front, albeit for the second time, we went and scored a second immediately, and we've done the same here. Lukaku scores a great goal to put us 1-0 up, and then we've immediately gone and scored another goal. This time it's Tom Cleverley, a third assist for us in today's episode. This is a brilliant start to the BPL season. Just laid it in front of him, and the touch took the defender away, and there was so much space there. The uh, other defender was too busy attending to a Romelu Lukaku that it just opened up for Cleverly. Great finish. We're 2-0 up, and it does look like we're going to get all six points from the opening two games of the season. Murray to Valeron Berami. Out wide to Bergui. Turns his side nicely, and he's running unchallenged into the box. And even when he is challenged, he's run past him. Oh, he's hit the bar. And they're going to score. Oh, Kapu, you've got to finish that. You have to finish that. Watford aren't going to get a better chance to get themselves back in this game. Open goal to aim at, and he has slashed that well wide. Halberg, he wasn't able to get that in at the first attempt, though. I have no idea. Uh, Leandro Rodriguez is coming on for a Romelu Lukaku. He's played his part today. 12 minutes still to go. Two goal lead. Watford hit the bar on their way to trying to get themselves back into it, but so far, not able to do so. Telefeu intercepts that. Goes straight down the line to Leandro Rodriguez, who's played it in front of him. To me, uh, I don't know what to do. We'll turn inside. Oh, Kune, stop it! How has he kept me out again? Makes a ridiculously good reaction save from a header earlier on in the game to stop me from scoring. And he's brilliantly, brilliantly kept me out again. It really could have been a cricket score here against Watford if it weren't for the goalkeeper. Ridiculous stuff. There goes the final whistle. I'm so happy with the way this series is going right now. The football is so entertaining. I'm really enjoying playing it. And hopefully the excitement is coming across in the videos as well. There have been a few people complaining in the comments saying comment section saying that I should up it to world class but we've been on world class with my player and it's just boring as sin it's so bad you have one chance a game and uh, then I get moaned at in the comment section that it's not entertaining enough you cannot say that these games are not entertaining right now on world class we are playing fantastic football we're winning games we're being heavily involved and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So hopefully you guys will uh, continue to enjoy this series as well. I know it's only the vocal minority that tend to complain in the comments section. But I thought I would address it. We'll be staying on professional. It's the more entertaining. It's more fun to play. It's more fun to watch. And at the end of the day, I'm making an entertaining YouTube series. Not one that uh, is supposed to be challenging my skills at the game. So... Uh, you know, we'll stay on professional. As long as the videos continue to be entertaining, then I'm quite happy to stay on professional. That's going to bring today's episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I could not have asked for a better start to this Barclays Premier League season. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, link in the description down below, and I'll see you next time.